Are you an Etsy seller looking to boost your sales? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you six tips that I learned after selling on Etsy for 10 years. Stick around. Hi, my name is Jake, and this is Minutemen Wood Design. Tip number one. It is the most important one, and the one that will probably boost your sales the most. I learned this in the first year I started selling on Etsy. The more items you have to sell, the more sales you'll get. I know it seems intuitive. But I know, have known a lot of people that put up maybe 10 items, maybe 15 items, and they're like, I'm just not getting the sales that I want. It's kind of the difference between Walmart who sells a couple million items and like a convenience store that sells maybe a couple of thousand. Obviously, Walmart is going to get a ton more sales, right? So one of the very simple ways to boost your sales is to start putting out, like a, it's like a YouTube channel, putting out more content in your store put out more items to sell and not just variations of something you already have where you change the color or you change tweak this or tweak that put out completely different items and start expanding that way if you double the amount of items you have in your store right now theoretically you could double your sales tip number two do not be afraid to sell in multiple categories or multiple niches it's not like, Etsy selling is not like YouTube where you want to primarily stick to one niche because that way the algorithm funnels the right people to your videos. You want to get more customers into your store, more cost customers looking at your products. If you only sell one type of widget of this particular type, you're only going to get customers that come to Etsy looking for that one widget. Whereas if you put out eight different widgets, now you've got eight different types of customers coming to your store. It doesn't hurt you to sell products in different niches or categories. So don't be afraid to do that. Expand out, like in tip number one, with as many products as you can in multiple categories, it's going to undoubtedly increase your sales. Tip number three, follow the trends. Follow the trends. Don't be blockbuster, right? If you're old enough to remember that. They're still renting out DVDs when um, Redbox is coming along and Netflix is and you're streaming video and whatnot. You got to follow the trends. Don't just, don't just uh, you know, castle up and be like, I'm not moving. This is what I'm doing. I've had that happen to me where I've kind of just rode, rode the coattails of a couple of bus, viral best-selling items and I didn't expand at all. I think you should always be looking to expand and putting new items on the market, doing your research to see um, what the trends are, you know, whatever category you're in, what the, the decorating trends are, the jewelry trends, um, probably on social media, look around, and there's a, there's a ton of places to do that, and see what people are getting into, and then try to get ahead of that curve or that trend by putting out products that will um, serve that market, if you can. That's the best way to do it. I got another tip. It'll be the last one about one way you can do that. All right, tip number four. It is not so much a selling tip as it is a warning or maybe like a public service announcement. But if you have any sort of success with an item, you, there's an exponential chance that that item will be copied. I've had at least four or five of my best-selling items um, copied by other builders. I do woodworking here, obviously. And... I really didn't know how to deal with it, like trying to navigate the trademark copyright system, whatnot. Uh, Etsy does have a registry system now where you can put in your item. I'm not sure how that works or if it's, it even works. Um, most of the time I was so busy, I just didn't, I didn't care because I was so busy um, when stuff like that started happening. It was only when times kind of got a little slim and I was like, man, if I had those extra sales that were being taken by copied items, that sure would be nice, but just be aware of that. Be aware of that, and like in the previous tip, just keep creating, keep building new items, keep making new things, get ahead of that, so that if something like that, it doesn't affect you too financially, and look into that Etsy registry thing and see if maybe that'll work. You could always reach out to certain buyers, or sorry, certain sellers that, that copy your items, and Ask them not to. I don't, I don't know how that'll work. Um, but just be aware. That does happen on Etsy, and it'll probably continue to happen. 
All right, tip number five, take advantage of Etsy marketing. You can advertise on the Etsy store. It does cost money, so be aware of that. You can set like a, a, a $1 per day, $2 per day, whatnot like that. And they will put your, your items that you select you know, inside the search, at the top, all around. Um, and they'll actually track people that have clicked on that ad and purchase through it. So you can actually see if it's working for you. So I encourage you to try it for a month too, if you can, if you've got the money and resources to do that, because that definitely can help. Also, they have a system in there where you can send coupons to people that have the abandoned cart where they've, you know, they put one of your items in their cart, but then didn't follow through, where you can automatically send them a coupon. They also have it where if someone favorited one of your items, you can send them a coupon automatically. So I encourage you, that's on the marketing tab on the left-hand side of your Etsy screen, I encourage you to utilize that because that can really help and bring in a lot of customers. All right, and finally, tip number six is go check out erank.com. I'm not affiliated with them. I wish I was, but I would be very remiss if I did not mention this resource to you. You can utilize it several different ways. One, they'll tell you what the most searched keywords are on Etsy for the last month, the last year, the last day. So that is the way that you can follow the trends and see what people are actually searching for. Or they're most the highest search volume. Another thing it does is you can put in a keyword and it'll tell you the search traffic for that keyword. And it'll also tell you the keyword, the, the keyword amount listing from listing. So it'll tell you how many people have that keyword in their listing and how many people are searching for it. So you could actually, that's like, it's like having a treasure map in your hand. You could find something that has a heavy search volume but a lot of sellers aren't selling. And now you just found something that, if you can make a good product for filling that keyword, I mean, you, you've got some gold there. Uh, another thing it does, which, which I liked, is you can put in your competitors and it'll track the sales of your competitors. So going back to the people that copied me, I put up like the top five people that had copied my products and was seeing how many sales they were getting compared to how many sales I was getting. So I was like, okay, are we all slumping because it's just the economy? Or are these guys getting a high amount of business with my poached uh, designs and I'm just not getting the sales? What's, what's happening there? Um, so it's, I think it's very, I think it's like $5.99 a month or something. It's very cheap, but they do have a free plan where you, you can search for a certain number, a number of keywords um, per month for free. But go check it out. It's, it's an incredible resource if you're looking for new ideas, if you're looking to research the trends and the keywords, I really would jump on that. That's all I got for you today. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't started selling on Etsy and you're really considering it, I've got another video where I put out the reasons why you should be joining Etsy right now and selling your woodworking on there in particular or anything else for that matter. So please go check it out and we'll see you on the next one.